Hello everyone, this is Deepthi from Flickering Light Bulbs and today we are going to discuss uh, how to prime a canvas with gesso and thankfully I've got a better recording device today so you'll be able to hear me in my actual voice. Uh, so let's begin. Um, so before we uh, go ahead with uh, the whole priming procedure, I'd like to tell you what priming exactly does. Uh, this is an already primed um, canvas, if you can see. Uh, if it weren't primed, it would have looked like a cloth, like a bedsheet cloth. Um, but it is primed, so it already has a little bit of gesso on it. What priming does is, uh, it sort of, uh, you know, reduces the number of pores or the... Um, irregular surface on the canvas and it helps your brush move better um, so the supplies that we need for this are um, what I'm using is uh, camel artist gesso um, we'll be just taking a little bit of this and we'll be mixing it with water as a brush that we'll be using so this is a 25 mm brush. You can use a broader brush, but uh, ensure that the bristles are the tough kinds. Like uh, they're not the soft, bendy ones. Look at this. It's it's like it's almost like a toothbrush. The other important thing that we'll be using is the sandpaper. Uh, you'll get uh, both the brush and the sandpaper at any electrical store. This is quite a larger piece. You can get a smaller one. We'll need this to sort of, you know, sand the irregular places where the weave is a bit, uh, you know, popped out or something. Like we've got a popped out weave here, I think. Yeah. So what uh, we're going to do is we're going to smooth that out. We're going to make this uh, even. So... Uh, what I'll do is, I'll just slightly um, and uh, don't forget to do it for the edges as well. Um, this is a very uh, small canvas. People who are going to use those big uh, one inch thickness canvases, they need to definitely take care of the edges. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to use this gesso and the brush. Now what we're going to do is, we're just going to take out some gesso and we're going to put it on the canvas. So, now here's the thing. Um, some people pre-mix the gesso with the water. What I like to do is, I like to put the gesso on top and then dip it a little in water. Sort of work my way outwards. The application has to be extremely um, smooth. Another thing that priming does is it uh, anything that you put on top of your canvas it holds and it protects uh, it from uh, the canvas itself because canvas has this property if it's not a linen canvas it's a cotton canvas it has this property of shrinking over the years so if you want to uh, sort of preserve your painting then uh, priming is a must. You need not worry about the uh, gesso <laughs> um, uh, dropping on your tabletop um, because gesso is basically uh, chalk in an oil base. So you can just use a little bit of water and uh, it
it will come off easily it's sort of even we do not have any kind of lines that's what happens mostly when you're painting even on the walls uh, you get these uh, lines so you shouldn't have them ensure that um, those lines aren't there and uh, your canvas and your gesso is spread evenly on the canvas so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh, just leave this to dry for the next 6 hours and after 6 hours um i'm just going to apply another coat of the gesso uh but before i apply the next coat i'm going to do some sanding on it so because uh, even the gesso forms uh, you know pockets and bubbles in places so it sort of gets eliminated in the sanding process so what i'm going to do is the next time i'll be meeting this canvas it will be dry and i'll be sanding it out and then i'll be putting another coat of gesso on top and then i'll again uh, put it up for drying for the next 6 uh, hours so this entire procedure all in all takes around 12 hours of time so you have to buy that much time before you start painting if you have to gesso your uh, canvas if you like this video please like share and subscribe to flickering light bulbs on youtube and at artverse flb on instagram